Hey there, Libra. How are you? Libra, thank y'all so much for your love and your support, your time, your energy, your positivity, your light. I really, really appreciate it. As always, I give it right back to you. So Libra, let's go ahead and jump into your love messages for uh, the middle 10 days of December of 2021. <clears throat> so this is going to roughly cover, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. This is going to roughly cover uh, the 11th through the 20th. Okay. Now, these messages will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as a cross watcher. So if you're dealing with the Libra, these messages could be for you as well. I want you guys to keep in mind these messages are general. So make sure that you're using your own intuition as well as your, uh, your discernment and your best judgment as well. Okay. And don't force the message, y'all. All right, messages for Libra in love, romance, and relationships. Middle 10 days of December of 2021. Let's get one more shuffle, you guys. Okay. Hmm, okay. Okay, Libra, interesting message so far. Interesting message, all right? Listen, right under the deck, straight under the deck, we have lost love, all right? We got lost love coming here. So Libra, I, I do feel like um, for a lot of you, this, this message and this energy could be, um, it could be uh, about uh, someone from your past. It could be about someone that you... Uh, it feels like someone slipped through your fingers, the one that got away. Um, for others of you, it could be where this is like, you know, maybe this person uh, is just no longer with us here. Um, and so, but you're still thinking about their energy. You're still thinking about, um, you know, memories and times, right? But either way, this is definitely about someone from your past, okay? For sure, all right? Um, or you could just be having feelings about someone from your past. Now, as far as the connections that you're making, um, now I do see here on your top row, we have single, we have in love, and then we have many loves. So this is what I'm feeling like, Libra. I feel like you have your options open. Okay. Uh, Libra, I feel like you guys really could be actually single in this moment, um, now, I definitely feel like you are dating. You could be casually dating. You could be talking to many different people, okay? Um, but there definitely could be one person that you do feel as though you could be able to build with, all right? So many of you are having those type of situations. You're dating multiple people, but there is one person that you have identified that you want to actually be in love with and that you are actually falling in love with. Now, um, I also feel like for some of you, this could be about... Uh, Again, this lost love energy from the past, this could be where, you know, technically you're single and um, you're still in love with this person, right? But you may be dating and you may be talking to many other people. Uh, you could be trying to, you know, recreate what's in this cup here. Um, or you could be trying to bust yourself out of you should be, you could be trying to get over one person while getting under a new one. And that's no shade. I mean, that's just what humans do. Okay. A lot of us do that sometimes. All right. Now here on your bottom row, we have tie the knot. We have by the book. And then we have attraction. And so I'm looking at all the heart shaped symbolism. That's the first thing that catches my eye here on these cards. Um, on tie the knot, uh, by the book and attraction. So Libra, it also feels like I'm, I feel like Libra, the approach that you're trying to take in your connections is it's almost like you kind of want things to happen in a particular way. Okay. You want the, uh, you know, you want attraction. Okay. And then not only is there attraction, but now this person actually, you know, kind of checks off all the boxes, right? Uh, I feel like the book of love is, is, is like when you write information down, when you write what you want in a partner down. Okay. Um, so that it comes to you so that you attract it. Okay. And then we've got tie the knot. So Libra, I feel like a lot of you may be feeling the pressure to get married or have a family or settle down, or at least, you know, 
you just settle into a, a monogamous relationship, okay? Especially if you've been dealing with many loves, okay? So some of you could be having pressure from outside forces about settling down. Others of you, this is where you're putting the pressure on yourself, okay? Because you could be trying to find an individual that ver that will give you what someone from your past gave you, okay? It's interesting energy. It's actually very interesting energy. We're going to pull some tarot and see if we can't see what other information um, we can find out about this connection or about these connections. <laughs> okay, Spirit also could be telling me that some of you may be um, keeping yourself single. You may be keeping yourself available uh in the hopes of reconciling with a lost love, because right under the lost love card, we have connection. Okay. So this, a lot of you, this is telling me that, you know, in a lot of ways, you're still connected to this person. I think I may have said that already, but you're still connected to this person. Okay. You got the connection card and then the lost love right after that under, uh, under the deck. So yeah, many of you are still trying to, um, like uh, with that single card there, many of you, I feel like you're are keeping yourself available. So you may be dating, you may be talking, you may be out there, you know, uh, having having fun. OK, um, but you may not be attracting anyone yet that you feel as though could be on the same level. OK, give me one moment. Somebody is at my door. All right. Sorry, you guys. So just <laughs> ran back upstairs. So I'm a little I'm a little winded. Um Anyways, somebody trying to sell me something at my door. Like, no, I already have whatever it is, so I don't need it. Anyways, um, all right, let's go ahead and pull some tarot and see what else we can add to your message. Hey, Libra, let me tell you something. This queen of wands has been showing up for Libra a lot. Um, but we'll go ahead and look at that in a second because I do see a couple of things here. So on the top row, actually, no, right under the deck here, we have the page of cups. OK, so this looks like an apology. Or it looks like just some offer of emotion, but I just really feel like it's an apology or it's just some recognition of, hey, I was wrong. OK, I feel like that. Um, we also have the four of wands under there as well. So I do feel like there could be, a, you know, this could be talking about a, a situation in your home. OK, this could be talking about a situation um in the foundation of things. Oh, okay. I see. Spirit is telling me here that uh, maybe someone is trying to apologize or trying to make something right. Like how something started off. They started off things on the wrong foot. Okay. That's how I feel about that. Now we do have the death card here. The five of wands. And then the magician card. Okay. So this is I, what I'm hearing is, is I'm actually hearing it. Like someone is needing to move on. All right. Um, and I feel like it's you, Libra. I feel like you're needing to move on, right? You're, you're needing to, uh, let something die. You're needing to let something go. Okay. Um, and there's conflict in the middle of this, but see Libra, you're manifesting your new beginning here, but you're not allowing yourself to work through the conflict that you need to work through or get over the conflict or let go of the conflict that you need to let go of in order for you to have that new beginning that you're manifesting here. OK, and that's what I see there with that death card and the five of wands is, you know, uh, perpetuated drama. OK, is what I feel. And so uh, but, but you do have the magic. You do have the skill to be able to pull yourself out of that. OK, and that could be based off of anything, maybe from a past relationship or could be anything you're dealing with in this moment.
All right. So we do have the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So I do feel like Libra, I feel like whatever this person needs to apologize for, I feel like you think that you're right. OK, because with the Queen of the Queen of Wands, it makes me feel like you're confident. OK, and that Four of Pentacles is saying that, you know what, you're holding on to whatever it is that you need to hold on to. Right. You could be trying to hold on to your sanity. You could be trying to hold on to your own resources. OK. All right. And with that, uh, that Knight of with that Knight of Swords, okay, I feel like someone has some truth to speak, okay, and it's going to come in fast, and I feel like you'll be, I feel like you'll be quick to, it, it does feel defensive in a way, but it's only because it's like you're literally sitting in drama with this Five of Wands here, okay? Hmm. So I feel like, yeah, if you're dealing with someone that maybe, you know, maybe, okay, now I understand this lost love energy card. Okay. Cause it does feel like, all right, well, you may have been connected with someone, but it almost kind of feels like you've lost them at this point. Okay. Either because they can't apologize to you, or maybe you can't apologize to them. Someone can't get over some drama. Okay. Um, in spite of maybe the other person trying to push past it and trying to move forward okay so whether that's you or them libra okay you just you know put it how it fits but i'm gonna go ahead and pull some uh pull one more card here for advice okay so we got two cards to come out so the first one that came out is you deserve love you are lovable the next card here is separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon yeah, so it's just about just, again, removing yourself from drama, removing yourself from any situations that are perpetuating on a cycle, okay? Um, knowing your self-worth enough with that Queen of Wands, knowing your self-worth enough to know that you, that you deserve love, that you are lovable, and you don't have to be in this type of love, okay? You don't have to keep yourself single and available for someone, okay? And you don't have to put those standards of being with that person for a long time or for life you don't have to put those standards on yourself as it relates to this person now as far as with this person i do feel like this person is coming to you this person is going to approach you with some sort of either apology or just some sort of emotion okay um a very small gesture it may even seem a little insincere to you libra but even if it does feel that way, Libra, you're going to have to just get over that yourself, okay? That person made an apology. That was their attempt. You can choose to get over it or you can choose to stay there and perpetuate yourself in it. But I just feel like you totally have all the strength and all of the available, uh, all of the materials to go ahead and, 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 and get yourself out of this drama situation. Okay, Libra? Who, Lord. I ain't going to lie, Libra. I thought this was a little thick. This is a little thick, <laughs> but let me know how you guys um, are managing in the comment box below. OK, you, are y'all are, are dealing with drama? Are you dealing with somebody that, you know, maybe you're trying to get over? OK, um, did this person lose you? OK. Are you, you, you know, maybe some of you are talking to multiple people at this time because you're trying to get over this particular person. Right. So let me know. Let me know. All right. Make sure you guys hit the like button, the share button, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell and I will see you guys in the next message. Bye, Libra.